Hi guys, it's Lauren here from Veed and in this video I'm going to show you how to create training videos easily. This could be for new starter onboarding, workplace safety, company protocols or even your own YouTube channel such as a beauty tutorial. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, you're going to need to outline what your video is about. So to do this, creating a storyboard is helpful as it can help you visualize what you want to achieve in your video. Now, if you're more comfortable ad-libbing than sticking to a script, then just make a whole list of talking points and that'll help you keep your video concise, engaging and ensure you don't leave out any vital information. Lastly, if you've decided that you want to write out a script, just elaborate on those talking points and you're good to move on to the next step. Now, ideally you'll have a camera with a microphone, tripod, good lighting, and an online video editor. Now, don't worry, you don't need the fanciest camera on the market. Your phone or even laptop camera will do the trick. And if you don't have softbox lighting, just position yourself near a window for natural light. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to use Veed's online video editor. It is incredibly fast and easy. So now with all the gear, let's move on to recording our video. A practice run through your talking points or script. It's important to be engaging and upbeat as you want your trainees to pay attention and enjoy your video. Keep eye contact with your camera and speak clearly and confidently. Now don't worry if you make any mistakes, just repeat the line and continue because we can always remove any errors in the edit. You can also film b-roll separately. So for instance if you are going to make a video on how to transfer calls, take a video of somebody demonstrating this and we can then use that in our edit. And once you feel confident and relaxed, press record and do your thing. So now we're gonna move on to the edit. Go ahead and click the first link in the description. Now we're in V, we're gonna click upload a file, choose a video that you've just recorded and give it a second to upload. Now the first thing we're gonna do is trim the fat, AKA we're gonna remove any errors or big chunks of silence. So to do that, press play, press pause at the point that you wanna make your cut, click split, then press play and pause again at the end of that error. Click split once more. Now right click on that chunk of video that you wanna remove and hit delete. And just repeat this process for any remaining errors or anywhere that you would like to indicate a new topic or a chapter, you can always make a split there. Next thing we can add is transitions. So as you can see here between each clip is a white box with a line in the middle. Click that to open up transitions and here you can have a play around and see whichever one works best for you. And again, just repeat this process for anywhere else that you would like to add a transition. So now we have transitions between our clips to indicate new chapters or topics. We can also add a title here so it's clearly laid out for the trainee. And we've got two choices. We can either add a title and lay it over our current video or we can choose to add a background stock footage clip and layer title above that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna head to media here in the left hand column and beside stock videos, click search. Now scroll down and here you'll see the backgrounds and you just choose whichever one you like. Now it will appear at the end of your timeline so just drag that above the new chapter and now in the left hand column here, we're gonna click text. So now you can choose to create your own title or you can use any of the templates that you see here. And once you've decided, you will see them appear in your timeline. And again, just drag them over so they're in alignment with our background footage. And just click on the text to type in your title. And if you wanna be extra fancy, you can click on animation and here you can animate your text. And again, just repeat this process for all remaining chapters. Moving on, we're going to add subtitles. So in the left hand column, click subtitles, click auto subtitle, choose your language and click create subtitles. Now just give that a minute or two here to transcribe. And once it's finished, we're gonna watch our video through completely just to check for any errors where it might've misheard anything we've said. If that has happened, very simple fix. Just click on the word that's wrong, delete it and type out the correct word. Now, once you've corrected all your errors, we can style our captions. So just go ahead and hit the styles tab here and you can have a play around with different fonts, sizes, colors, and you can also have a play around with the effects. So when I created this how to make coffee video, I also filmed some B-roll, which I wanna to add to our training video. Now, if you haven't filmed B-roll, don't panic. We have an entire stock footage library. I'm sure you can find something from there, but if you're like me and have your own footage, head to media, then click upload a file, choose to upload your B-roll. Same as before, your clip's gonna appear at the end of the timeline. So just drag that above the point in the video that you want it to appear and repeat this process for any remaining B-roll. One final touch we can add is background music. So once again, we're in media, we're gonna scroll down to stock audio, click search and have a listen here to see whichever one suits your video. And once you picked your track, click on it. You will see it appear at the bottom of your timeline. Now, if the length of your track fits your video, great. If it's too long, simply drag it over so it fits. And if it's too short, find another track you like and add that. 
Now to decrease the volume, we're gonna to head to the volume bar here and drag that all the way over to the left. Now we can render and export our video. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and click export once more. Now it can take anywhere between a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes to render, just depends on how long your video is. And once it's finished, you just wanna watch it through once just to check you're happy. And now you can choose whether you want to download it as an MP4, you can choose to copy the link to share it, you can send the link via email, and you can even embed it on a website. One last thing, so when you share this video, people have the ability to comment and even refer to timestamps. So this enables you to reply and answer questions really easily. So to do this, you just wanna pause the video at the point that you wanna make reference to, and then you're gonna write your comment down here, hit send, and now it enables whoever made the video to come back in, click on the timestamp, and reply to that comment. So it's perfect for training videos and easily answer any questions of your employees. And that's it. That is how you create training videos easily. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.